hey funky welcome back to my channel i'm really sorry i could not upload my videos for a long time because i've been extremely busy but i come with excellent news for gamers because today i'm reviewing a software which is my first paid partnership by the way uh, it is a software where it lets you cast your phone screen onto your pc up to 1080p even better news i'm giving away free subscriptions to one of you guys so follow my comments follow the instructions everything will be explained there so let's get to it <music> The name of the software is I My Phone Mirror 2. A pasta word is self-explanatory, which means literally J up in the phone is screen. PC te cast quote the baron tower up to 1080p. A video to I mean segment of Hagbor. First day I will explain advantage key use core. Second, I will show you a few clips while I'm gaming. And third day I'll show you how to install and navigate through the software. If you love playing first shooter games on your mobile such as Call of Duty or PUBG then you will absolutely love using this software because it gives you the same experience when you're playing on a PC or a console because first of all it lets you use the PC's uh, big screen and you connect a phone at TK screen to Onyx board so you, it lets you see the enemies clearer second of all the biggest advantage it lets you use the PC's mouse and a keyboard so mouse and keyboard there you, you'll be able to shoot and move your uh, player and we all know Jack the screen edge on at least for me it's very difficult like a player can or know and to shoot it's very uncomfortable as well so, and third of all you'll be able to use the PC's headphones you can act a phone ears sound quality speaker sound quality is much poorer than the PC's headphones so you'll be able to hear your enemy's footsteps much clearer so these are all the advantages and these will enhance your game and enemies at TK you will have an extra advantage if first you go to the website which is given in the comment section and then you then you download their application onto your PC and after you've installed it then go to the settings on your phone phone settings the developer options then you go on to build setting build version with build version that you have to click seven times shut back click call it then you enter developer options that we're gonna USB debugging J option actually with enable code to if you don't enable then you won't be able to cast your screen onto your PC so it's very important that you've enabled it and after you've done that connect your phone onto your PC using the phone's wire connecting the phone to the PC you have to click OK here Voila, you're connected. So this is the application. Um, you can control everything from here off your mobile. Let's say you want to drag down the menu. Oops, you can do that. You want to turn on Wi-Fi. You want to turn off Wi-Fi. You can do everything. Turn on Bluetooth. You can do that. You want to go in, let's say, you want to go to settings, drag hmm. down, click on settings. You see, you click these buttons are the button that you select to, you know, control your uh, mobile device. If you press this, you go back immediately. Now, coming onto these buttons, what you do is, uh, if you press, if you press this, this is the main account. You see, you know, you're on a one-year plan. This is the keyboard mapping. I'll come onto this later. Uh, this is the screenshot button. If you click this automatically, the application will take a screenshot. If you click this, it turns on and off your phone screen. It will save a lot of battery. You don't want your phone screen to be on when you're playing games from here. It'll, this is the record screen button if you click this it will the application will automatically start recording your 
your your gaming clips so that you can you know share it onto your um, on your platform your social platform this is the settings um, you go to settings you click on general settings you see that you are in VIP you can select where what sounds you can you want as your input you can select this so all you can hear all sounds from your headphones now this is the shortcut key if you press alter key you you know hide or wake up the keyboard pop-up uh, if you press alter V then you know automatically the screen is gonna start recording so let's go back now this is the most important part when you go to multimedia settings you can select what format you want your screenshot to be saved for this is the screen record quality make sure that you click 1080p it is select kore apnader video ta 1080p the record korbe ar eta hocche ke recording frame rate the 60 fps record korbe to joto beshi fps thakbe oto smooth lagbe dekhte game ta oto khelto better lagbe ar eta video format e mp4 so let's go back to okay keyboard mapping this is the most important part so here is the keyboard mapping you click on this it your movement stick you uh you control how your character moves this is the this is the fire button this is the aim button and this is a uh, reload I'm, I'm guessing so let's just go back let's go back and let's play you know a few games okay I'm con now I'm controlling from 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 my phone so let's play Call of Duty the very end of our video I'm sure I'm giving away two free subscriptions to one of you read my comments follow the instructions happy gaming everyone this was my review about I my phone mirror 2 I'll see you in the next video